decreases the amount of antibodies made by the Th2 system and hence prevents autoimmune reactions. Unlike the Th1 system, the Th2 system produces antibodies. It is the antibodies that are produced by the Th2 system that cause autoimmune diseases. So when the Th1 system is working, it's not making antibodies. It's the Th2 system that makes the antibodies that lead to all these autoimmune diseases. By the way, when it comes to checking to see if you've got an autoimmune disease, what do we look at? We look at whether or not you're making antibodies to the various organs. So this is all an antibody problem. It is the antibodies produced by the Th2 systems that lead to autoimmune diseases. Now remember that, because in my next post, I'm gonna explain how it is that when the Th1 system is activated, again, by small amounts of bacteria, okay, it suppresses the Th2 system, decreases the amount of antibodies made by the Th2 system, and hence prevents autoimmune reactions.